Kansas lawmakers and farmers are watching the clock at this hour as the farm bill is set to expire at midnight. And what that could mean not only for ag producers, but for everyone in the U.S. We return to Cakes Nick Nelson to report. It's going to be a long process, but, but I think for the future of the farm bill, ways in which we have mutual benefits going back and forth, and I think those benefits will be more in relation to food security and conservation uh, than maybe they will be simply on price and production. Jim French has been farming in Reno County for the better part of a century. He says the rise in inflation and food prices since the pandemic have weighed on rural farmers and ranchers. And he says with no clear plan to replace the federal farm bill that expires this week, things could get bleaker. Farmers here in rural Kansas are spending the fall getting winter wheat into the ground and tilling fields, as you can see behind me. They're also saying that the clock is ticking on Congress to pass a new farm bill for the next five years. Input costs have risen dramatically. The things that farmers buy in order to put a crop in the ground and to harvest that crop have escalated amazingly in a way that is so damaging, while the price they receive for what they grow has diminished. Senator Jerry Moran expects the current bill to be extended for another year, but he adds that new ag legislation is important and urgent. With financial pressures building across the agricultural industry and due to increased production costs and weakened market prices, the overall financial situation of the farm economy is bleak. The status quo is unacceptable. We must pass a long-term farm bill this year, and we must also consider immediate relief for farmers with a supplement. French says the future of the farm bill should be important to everyone with not only farm subsidies and crop insurance on the line, but food security programs like SNAP on the line as well. It still emphasizes that a farm bill is everybody's bill. Uh, food and agriculture is not just by the ones that produce it, but, but it's something that's vital to all of us. Nick Nelson, Cake News on your side.